Okay, we're going to do a compass motor compensation real quick. This is to help uh, compensate for the electrical fields created when ESCs, motors and stuff, create magnetic fields. So what we've got here is we've got these three X, Y, and Z offsets here to the formulas that are used to uh, calculate this compensation. So let's real quick go ahead and do one. I'm going to terminal mode. We'll connect to the APM. We'll send it into setup. And then we'll do a compass motor compensation. And what we do there is we hold the throttle at mid throttle for five seconds and then chop it basically. So here goes real quick. And hit enter. Interference at full throttle is 7% of magnetic field. Magnetic declination minus 6. Magnetic offsets. Magnetic compensation for current. You've got some compensation, compensation vectors there calculated. Let's go back and reattach. It always unattaches after that test. Let's see what it did. All right, let's go down to our compass section. And here we got, got these values put in here. 0 0.2, 0 0.7, oh, minus. I can't quite tell. Looks like a minus 0 0.7, and here's a 0 0.83. Multiply by the current throttle and added to the compass's e axis values to compensate for motor interference. Oh, that's right. We used to do this a different way. We used to do this in a fashion that uh, we would look at the compass right here in the heads up display. And you could see as the motor went up, motors, this magnetic heading would vary based on the throttle. But when you put in the co correct compensations, you could do that and the heading would, would stay the same. And here in our overall compass section of the code, uh, it starts up here basically six or eight percent we also have these parameters which if you read out here offsets to be added to the compass value to compensate for the metal in the frame this information is from the manual for the compass mod setup and basically says that if your compass interference is less than 30 percent it is acceptable and you should have good performance mine is a third more than a third of that at seven percent so I'm cool uh, if it is between 31 percent and 60 percent then the interference is in a gray zone and you need to move your APM you need to change something motors frame something to try to get that under 31 percent other than that you're cool and the APM does it all magic